Hey guys, long time no see, right? So, a lot's been going on with me personally in the last month or so. That has kind of equated to little or no RSC gameplay. Luckily, I got my internet set up a week or so ago in my new place in LA. I finally started playing. Um, I'm not quite settled into LA yet, but it shouldn't be long now. It's kind of weird because there are all these places I want to go and things I want to do, um, but temporarily I kind of feel like I need to put those aside and do them after August 6th. I'm looking to somewhat no life it on the weekends. I mean, I have some crazy goals and not a ton of time left, so I guess that's how it is for now. So while I try to figure out how I did my old voice, let's go over some achievements. Well, those last few range levels definitely took forever, because I was moving at the time. But once I got internet again at my new apartment, it was back to business. I got 77 range, which made the stat sheet even nicer. Also, congrats to uh, Flying Snow for getting 77 as well on his Iron Man recently. I'm not sure what my max hit with Rune is now. I'm guessing 15. I'm hoping by the time I hit 84, it'll be like 17s, but that might be a long shot. Get it? <laughs> that was stupid. The next goal was still 84 magic, so I decided to go for that. Decided to multitask things a little bit and hit up the Wilderness Agility course. Brought Crumble Undead for use against the skeletons, and it went at a pretty decent speed. So I got all the way up to 65 agility here, just two levels short of my goal. Um, and then a friend actually gave me like 3,000 blood runes or something for training, so decided to step things up a bit to fire wave <laughs> training and uh, head to the Black Demons for Mage training there. Interestingly, I got a cut Dragonstone drop from one of them. Dude, Jagex is literally just trolling me at this point. Then I got the level, and it was time to do something different. Had a ton of fun with the Shadows Intraclan War last Saturday. We actually decided to try Black Armor and Weaponry for one of the battles, and it was pretty intense. I'll be releasing the full video, which should have all three battles. Mithril or Adamant next? Sounds pretty good to me. Back to melee training again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop saying that. Okay. <laughs> it was actually, like, it was It was actually kind of like a tough decision of where to go for this. Because, like, I wanted to go to Undead Ones at Shiloh, because it's definitely better XP per hour. Like, I remember getting 77, like, range... No, getting 77 strength, attack, and defense. I was like, dude, I'm out of here. I trained all the way from 70 to 77 in three different combat stats. I didn't even get a D-square half. And I was, I was like, I'm done with this place. But now I kind of want to stay here at Shadow Warriors because I figure I'll kill two birds with one stone, sort of. I just need RNG to be good to me for once. Anyway, I got 78 strength real quick here. Close to 79 as I say this, actually. Uh, gotta keep on moving. It was time for another installment of the Area Rejuvenation event, this time at Falador East Bank. So, this is my friend and clanmate Bankreader's favorite place. I attended the early part of it, and it was pretty chill. Started a drop party, actually, and dropped a lot of nice stuff, uh, including 5 mil, over 3,000 chaos, and so on cut dragon stones in a D-Med, I think. Anyway, sometime after that, Something pretty random happened. Someone just gave me, like, a blue party hat. Wait, did that actually just happen? Yes, it's true. I won't say who it is, but what a shock that was. I've never even worn a party hat in this game before. I never really thought I wanted one until I actually put that one on. I mean, I never actually had one back in the golden days, so it didn't affect me from a nostalgia standpoint. But when I put that hat on, it was a pretty crazy feeling. It was weird, but really cool to see my character wearing one. I guess also what made it interesting was blue party hats are currently worth, what, max RSC cash stack or more? Meaning 2.147 billion or whatever it is? I don't even know what I'd do with that much money. Unfortunately, it's not mine for good. I'm just kind of borrowing it. But still, awesome experience right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm heading back to the grind.